very good morning. This is Ingo from Bicycle Beyond. How are you doing, friends of cycling worldwide? Today we are doing something you're not doing on a daily basis. You're riding 200 kilometers. Epic endurance ride. I'm gonna give you some advice and tips how to tackle this challenge. Who knows, you might find one of the tips useful. Guys, join me on this epic ride. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fantastic. You're probably curious where I am. I started uh, pretty early this morning in Stellenbosch, in the heart of the winelands of the Western Cape, South Africa. From Stellenbosch, I made my way up over the Hells Hochte Pass. Five kilometer climb, five percent. Good to warm up. Then all the way in through the valley. The Franchuk Valley, down there you see Franchuk. And now, up, second climb, Franchuk Pass. Seven kilometers, average around 6.8%. Yeah, Gorgeous day, no wind, current temperature 15 degrees, but uh, we're gonna hit the 30 easy later on. With a bit of luck, we might even see a baboon further up there. This pass, locals refer to it as the Olifants Pass, it was a preferred route many, many years ago from the good old African elephant. Tip number one how to tackle. 200 kilometers road cycling successfully. Number one. Train. Before you do something like that, some might call it crazy, you have to train. Otherwise, it's probably not gonna work. By the way, these tips are based on my own personal experience. I recommend you train. You should have at least a thousand kilometers in your legs. Ideally, before you do something like that, previous weeks before, two, three hundred kilometers a week. And you should have done I would say four, five, hundred kilometer rides. So you need to get used to the long, long hours in the saddle. So tip number one, train. It's not gonna be an overnight thing, but stay focused, keep to the goal, do one day 200 kilometer ride. And I guarantee you, it's the best thing you've ever done. Thanks for the recent comments, support, messages. Who I appreciate every single one of them. You rock guys. And this Franchuk Pass is a constant 6.8%. Almost on top of the beautiful Franchuk Pass.
Tip number two, plan. Obviously, when you cycle 200 kilometers with an average of 25 k's an hour, that's like eight hours plus. You might have a little puncture, you might need to stop, you take some pictures, you have a coffee cake, so plan minimum 10 hours. Pick a good day, obviously. When the sun is shining, everything looks a lot nicer. Check out the weather report here. I'm currently in South Africa. It's relatively easy because the sun is always shining here. It's hard to pick a bad day, to be honest. About the route as such, I prefer a bit a hilly route, not just plain flat. For me, too boring. I like the hills. So today we're gonna do three passes. Already did two. 40 k's with almost a thousand meters climbed already. Hells hope the pass, Franchuk Pass, now go down to the valley, T Waters Kloof Dam, then to the left, Villiersdorp, down to Wooster, Rosenville, and then at the end we're gonna climb the, the Tuitz Kloof Pass. 20 kilometers, not too steep, but still we gain 600 meter elevation. Yeah, for me it's always when you go up, you have a more sense of achievement for me personally. Get the route on the Garmin, Wahoo, whatever you have uh, to make sure you are not getting lost because if you turn the wrong corner, if you miss the road and then you have to go back 10 kilometers in the wrong direction, that can hurt when you already cycle 200. Oh, it seems like we are hitting some folk down there. It's almost like being on Mount Kilimanjaro here. Absolutely drenched. Check this out. I went through the sea of fog. Well, let's continue. Just one of the things. Uh, quite a misty experience the last case so I need to get out of this valley once we're out of I think back to once we're down in Worcester the Sun will be shining again 30 degrees but to be honest it's quite pleasant to cycle so I cycled 65 case now time for a coffee See what kind of cake they have to offer in Villiers stock. This is this is apple country. Most jobs come from that industry. in the Chichi coffee house here in Villiersdorf. Highly recommended. Beautiful. Now we're heading towards Busta. 47 Ks. Uh, it's gonna go a bit up and down, a bit rolling. Join me on the ride. I just came up a little hill. You see the fog over there. Obviously it's generated by the big lake, the Tea Water Kloof Dam. There's big mountains in front. You can't go nowhere. But now it's opening up direction to Worcester and it's getting sunny again. Welcome South African sunshine. 
you see this beautiful valley, the road meanders out there, right need to cross that ridge a little over there. Halfway through, 100 k's in the back. Uh, climbed exactly 1,300 meters, and average speed so far not too bad, 26. See Wooster to the right. We go left now. We need to cross the mountain range there. Big mountain coming up to 800 meters above sea level. Current temperature 29 degrees. No wind, zero. Yeah, next town, Rosenibel. Gonna make a little stop. We're gonna have then about 120. And uh, time to have a little break. I like to break it up every two, two and a half hours. Just take it easy. Fuel up, drink, eat. You don't wanna suffer on that mountain. I'm pretty chuffed with the form I mean currently so the recent training pays off all right leaving Rosenville now and now it's 20 kilometers uphill to Tuitzkluf Pass from 140 meters Elevation up to 800. Now we are on top of the Tuitzkluf Pass. Viewing point here. Now you see the other side of the mountain. What a beauty. That's Paul down there. Wellington. Riebeck Castell. See that mountain over there? To the right, behind the Stellenbosch. That's where we're heading now. Still about, yeah, about 50 kilometers to go. Yeah, if you go, oh look, paragliders are shooting off. Tandem. Beautiful. Guys, here you can see this is the new road. It's a toll road goes through the mountain tunnel out to Wooster. I went this way all the way. You see the road up. That's the the Tuitzkluf. Around the corner, and then it was all the way up. It's quite a drag, 20 kilometers, and the heat was just 38 degrees down there. I was sweating, I tell you, but we managed it. I'm gonna get the drone up, so you're gonna have a little view from top.
175 k's done 30 to go before i do that i'm gonna grab an ice cream somewhere this is the best <coughs> scary stumpy they're the best chocolate you like them what's your name Mino. Mino. Right guys, little break, 15 k's to go, it's quite the last bit, a lot of rolling hill, rolling hills and uh, full on headwind, that's a thank you at the end. No, all fine, I just wanted to point out uh, tip number three. Preparation, prepare, that's the key for this little right over 200 kilometers basically what i wanted to say is check your bike before you go so if you can't fix it bring it to a bike shop make sure the gearing is working properly i always have wear this little uh, rucksack it's a cycling rucksack basically to just put in all my stuff my additional food bit of money camera tripod uh, spare tools Spare in the tube. Looks like it's very convenient. Obviously, if you are, uh, if you have a backup car, you don't need stuff like that. But on your own, you know. Otherwise, you always miss something. Uh, you know, a jacket, wind jacket, rain jacket, and so on. You never know what's happening in 200 kilometers, as you saw today. Obviously, important is as well a pump or CO canister, if you prefer that. I always take two, you never know, if one fails, you're done. Especially when you go in a remote area like I've been today, there's nothing around. Before you leave, just make sure you charge up your camera, your mobile phone. If you've got DI2, electronic gearing on your bike, charge them up, you never know. After a thousand kilometers, usually it's finished and you don't want to go back over a big mountain with a big gear. I always recommend as well, uh, Put on some lights, rear light, very important, even front. There's, there was one tunnel today, so just better to be seen. Take tons of food with you, some spare cash or credit card or both, preferable both. Because where I went today, you come to a little kiosk, they don't accept credit cards. So always a bit spare, a couple of rand. <clears throat> a ride like that is the perfect way to lose some weight. You burn anything between six and eight thousand calories depending on obviously how hot it is today very hot and uh, what kind of hills are involved and so on and how fast you pedal and how much you weigh basically put energy in so take loads of food whatever you can put in your rucksack take it with you sunglasses uh, sun protection sun lotion i have a little hat and all here, especially in, in South Africa, the UV index is very high. And even in the so-called winter here, you always need, I always wear 50, factor 50, and uh, on the face a sunblock, just to make sure I don't get a sunburn. When you're on your own, most GPS actually, Wahoo, my one, you've got a live feature. Basically, you connect it to an email of your family member, friend, whoever is interested in your right. Send him an email, automatically gets an email and he sees, he or she sees exactly where you are. So it's very good. Just to let them know, so you don't need to call them every five minutes. All these points I'm going to put down in the below in the description. So in case I forget something, or maybe you have an idea what I should do better or additional tips, which uh, would make my life easier when you do a long ride. I would love to know that. What do you think? I think once you ticked off this list, my little tips, then you're ready, set to go. And then it's about to enjoy the ride. I really enjoyed the ride today. And although you feel lacked a bit, you know, that's normal after 200 kilometers, you feel your legs. If, if you don't feel your legs now, then uh, something is wrong with you. Important is as well, always, my opinion, stay positive. Enjoy the ride. Mind over matter. Of course, today I suffered as well a bit when I go up to the Tuitzkluf, uh, 38 degrees, 20 kilometers up in. It hurts a bit, but that's a part of the game. My last little tip on a long ride, 
take it easy it's not a race enjoy it if you go with friends even better and make the best out of it take pictures take a video and especially in the beginning it's always you find when you cycle with other people in the beginning like all strong and they push and save energy you need it at the end believe me from kilometer 150 upward, upwards you are if you have some power left that's exactly what makes the difference right i hope you found uh, some of the tips useful enjoyed the ride today everything you can see on strava as well i put the link as well in, in the description don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching it was a pleasure as always keep on pedaling i see you on the road somewhere soon hopefully so i'm just heading now the last 15 k's back to stellenbosch cheerio bye bye back in stellenbosch final starts 204 kilometers tour completed riding time exactly eight hours and uh, elevation almost 2400 meters climbing beautiful day on the bike thanks for watching take care see you soon